Yellowstone National Park seems to be celebrating 2020 in its own way. A swarm of earthquakes concentrated under Yellowstone Lake. The United States Geologic Survey Yellowstone Volcano Observatory has been monitoring an earthquake swarm inside of the Yellowstone Caldera. Several dozen have been recorded in the same area, midway down the eastern side of Yellowstone Lake. All the recorded quakes have occurred between the 1st and 7th of December, and many more are likely to have happened since the seismologists at the observatory published their findings in the weekly column Yellowstone Caldera Chronicles on the 7th of December. The magnitude of each quake ranges from M0 to M2. Furthermore, the entire cluster is occurring directly along the Caldera boundary a fault in the earth that formed when the surface collapsed during the last explosive eruption of Yellowstone, over 631,000 years ago. So, what does it mean? Not much. While seismologists admit this cluster is a bit larger than usual, an earthquake cluster is not an unusual thing in Yellowstone. In fact, most of the hundreds of recorded quakes in the park every year occur as part of clusters like these. This December 2020 cluster is being compared to the 2008 to 2009 swarm, which spanned 11 days from the 27th of December, 2008, to the 7th of January, 2009. In that period, over 800 quakes were recorded, the largest with a magnitude of 4.1. The last Yellowstone earthquake swarm was reported in September of this year 100 earthquakes in 24 hours. This swarm is much weaker but no less interesting, particularly given its location along the Caldera boundary and the fact that, unlike the 0809 swarm, it isn't migrating from its current location. The observatory will continue measuring and monitoring the swarm to see what kind of behavior it shows. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.